Hi all and welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all doing okay. I think there's quite a few interesting things going on in Formula 1 at the moment so I'm going to try and bring you as many of those as I can tonight. Uh, so I want to start off with Mercedes and Toto Wolff. So Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff appears to be looking at either Max Verstappen or Carlos Sainz as a potential replacement for Lewis Hamilton. Speaking after the Miami Grand Prix, he said, I think we want to take our time, see where Max's thinking goes, and at the same time monitor the other drivers. Carlos was very strong in Miami again, and that's why we are on a little bit of an observation mode at the moment. But he also admitted that his team are weeks away from providing updates to Hamilton and Russell's cars. Wolf said, I think we know what to do in terms of what they are bringing to the car, you can't really rush it because you've got to get to the point where you say now it's good to be released into production and once that part comes they need to be sorted so this is a matter of many weeks and for this reason alone like i covered in a recent video saying about how they're putting upgrades on a car that from the base up doesn't seem to work apparently they did take a new floor to miami and it performed as well as they expected but given where they still are i just can't see max or carlos going to mercedes i just don't think it's going to happen again we'll see and Lewis Hamilton reportedly asked Lando Norris to reschedule his flight out of Miami in order to party late into the night together. Norris was a popular winner at the weekend claiming his first race win with everyone wanting to celebrate with him and that included Hamilton. Sky Sports reporter Natalie Pinkham claimed that Hamilton asked Norris to stay longer so that they could cherish the night of his first win together. And going by some of the pictures I think they did have quite a good party. And moving on to something else I covered a couple of weeks ago, um, and that is Williams driver Alex Alban expects plenty of driver movement in the coming weeks after Nico Hulkenberg's move to Cyber and then Audi. Hamilton kick-started silly season with his switch to Ferrari, but drivers like Max Verstappen, Carlos Sainz and Sergio Perez could all be among possible movers. Alban said, Everything's moving early, everything's moving very quickly. Obviously Nico Hulkenberg has just pulled somewhat of a trigger at Cyber and I'm sure the second one is going to follow soon and everything including my focus on where I go not so much for next year but the year after and focusing on that side of things it's these next couple of weeks are where all the decisions I think for the whole grid is going to be finalised and I did mention before in a previous video that there was a lot of drivers were expecting a lot of announcements within a couple of weeks and they haven't arrived yet but maybe just in time for the uh, Emilia Romagna Grand Prix and finally, Haas team principal Aya Komatsu is said to be considering the future of Kevin Magnussen. K-Mag has just one point to his name this season and according to the race, with Nico Hülkenberg heading to Cyber in 2025, Komatsu is considering a completely new lineup. And I really do think next year Oliver Behrman is going to be in a Haas and I don't think it's out of the question that Valtteri Bottas could be at Haas next year. But anyway, uh, if you've got any suggestions or thoughts or ideas on what you think is going to happen during silly season, please, please, please let me know in the comments because this is going to be quite exciting, I think, once silly season does finally unfold. But anyway, that's all i got for you this evening. Again, I really do want to thank you so much indeed for your comments, your likes and your shares. Obviously, a big welcome to all my new subscribers and my old ones. Thank you so much indeed for everything. I truly, truly do appreciate it. I know I say it a lot, but I genuinely do mean it. It means the world to me. Honestly, it really does. And of course, if you do like what I do, please consider liking this video, pressing the subscribe button, and also pressing the notification bell so you get those all-important future warnings of my uploads. And as always, until the next time, take care.